Over 60% of small mammals that used to live in the area have now become either globally extinct or locally extinct. The main threat to these medium-sized mammals has come from cats, foxes and the competition with rabbits. There are over 20 million feral cats in Australia and they can eat anything from one to 20 animals a night. So it doesn't take long for a small native species in arid Australia to go extinct at that rate. The success story of arid recovery wouldn't be what it is without the fence. Current arid recovery fence is about 1.8 metres high, has about a 400 mil floppy top and a 300 mil foot netting to keep rabbits out. Externally the fence is around about 50 kilometres. The unique part of the fence is the floppy top where if a cat or an animal jumps onto the floppy top, it can't flick its weight over backwards, it hangs down. Without the fence, we wouldn't have been able to do the majority of research that's happened at Arid Recovery. The best way to do that was to fence off an area. So the research was essential into the design of the fence before it was put up. The fence technology has been adopted in Hawaii and there's many other places that are looking at it. And so the opportunities for this knowledge and concept to be replicated around the world are quite significant. The overriding goal is the science behind it so that you can control feral animals to the point where you don't need fences. What we're trying to do is essentially live in the real world and get pastoralism and mining working together. And it's, it's great, it's been working for the past 15 years. You want to have areas that are just open and wild so native species can thrive everywhere.